Time to make the second fruit of this free course. First we made a strawberry, now we're going to make a kiwi. We can use these fruits for the rest of the free course and trust me, they are going to be necessary. You can find all the assets on Gumroad, some are free and some are paid. So let's get started straight away. In this tutorial we are going to make a kiwi. So let's delete this, let's do it again. Shift A, mesh, let's bring in a UV sphere. Now press on one, tap, select all of this, X, faces. And now we have only half of this shape. Now I'm going to fill this up, so select this edge, search menu, grid fill. And now we have a grid and the line goes all around. So I'm going to make a texture for this, but first let's go to the modifier section, normals, smooth by angle, ignore sharpness, and now this is shaded smooth. So let's go over here, new, and let's add a noise texture. Bring in a color ramp, connect this, control T, object in the vector color ramp in the base color and now we need to select some colors for this. So for the dark color I'm going to use the hex code and I'm going to type 561808 like this. And for the light color I will use hex code E98E67. And right now this is the color of a kiwi. Very good. But we can give this a different material. So go over here plus assign and now this will be white and this will be our kiwi material. Let's go to the material. Let's change the scale to 2. Increase the detail, increase the roughness just a little bit at around 0.6. So I'm going to click on edit, control I, go to the data object properties tab right over here, click on vertex groups and assign. And I know I said I will not use particle systems anymore, but in this case I found this to be the easiest method to make the kiwi. So we're going to do it anyways. So plus, click on hair, change the hair length to 0.04. Now let's have a look at the shape first. This is not the kind of shape that we like. So I'm going down, hair shape, and change some properties of this. So first of all, the diameter root is too big. I'm going to make it smaller, something like this. Now it looks a bit more like hair. I'm going to decrease this size as well, so that it's very thin. Now I'm scrolling down to vertex groups, and under density we can select our group. I didn't name it, but uh, we do have a group right there. I see some hair sticking out here. Head into tab, control I, P, separate selection, and then select this part. Go over here and delete the particle system. So now this doesn't have a particle system, but this does, and we can connect it later on. There's not enough particles, so I'm going to set this to 2000. Go to children, interpolate it. Display amount, I'm just going to set it to 100 so I can see what I'm doing. And these are all sticking straight out following the normals. And I do not want that, so I'm going over to parting, and I will increase this to around half. Then I will go to clumping, and actually don't really use this too much, just a little bit bit right over there. Something like 0 0.03 should do fine. Go to roughness and under random you can increase this. Let's have a look at what it does by the way. Let's move right over here. Random. Increase this and it will make it a bit more random. Now this is already starting to look like a kiwi. As a matter of fact I think this is pretty much done. You can play around with these settings in order to get what you like. You may increase the randomness just a little bit more or uh, do the parting just a bit more. So it is using the first texture in the material slot by the way. This right over here it's using material 5. And if we go over to render, you can select a material right here. So if you want to make a different material for the hairs, no problem. You can do that right here and select the material underneath this tab. So this is it for that part of the Kiwi. I'm going to select this, go over here, delete this material, new. And now we can make a new material for this one. So control T, add in the image texture. Go into edit mode, U, unwrap this, cube projection in this case. So I'm going to the UV editor and make sure that this aligns a bit more with our Kiwi. You can scale it on the x-axis as well, on the y, do whatever you like. This is already starting to look pretty good, but it's not done yet, so go to the shader editor. Let's move this to the side, add a color ramp, plug this into the color ramp, color ramp into the roughness, because we want to make it a bit more glossy. I'm going to switch these, like so, maybe leave the black just a little more over here. Then I will take this same image, bump, in the height, right over there, normal in the normal. It will be a bit too much as always. So I'm going to bring that down until it looks like this. Not bad. And another thing we can do is go over here, add shader, translucent, BSDF, plug it into the add shader, plug the color into the color of the translucent, add a hue, saturation and value, bring it in there, increase the value just a bit and decrease the saturation just a little bit. Then I will take the same hue, saturation and value, bring it over here, plug it into the color right in between the image texture and the principal BSDF, increase the saturation by a whole lot until it is actually green. Something like so. We can play around with this. And now this is already starting to look pretty good. There's one more thing we can do in order to make this look even better. So I'm going to select both of these. Shift S, cursor to select it. Then add an empty right over here, plane axis. And now we've got this empty. Select both of these and then select the empty last. 
press Ctrl P and object keep transform. And right now if you move the empty, everything will be moving along. Now, of course, this is quite a bit heavy since we have the particle system turned on all the way with the display amount on 100 and the render amount on 100. But what you can actually do is change the children, set it to 10, for example, like this, and we won't have a lot of hairs, but it will render with 100. So you can already see what it looks like if you change this to 100. This is what it will look like in the render modus, but you can also just set it to 10 or even on one if you want a high performance, but it will render out the entire 100 particles. Now that this is connected, we can move it around. Very good. And the final thing we can do is add some randomization. So I'm going to select both of these, then go into edit mode, press on O to enable proportional editing, select some parts and just move it around a bit. Make sure it's a bit more roughed up because it's not a perfect sphere. You can also bring it down in some places like so. Maybe make a big move like this. Now, if you do get stretch UVs, by the way, you can also redo the texture of the top part. I think it looks fine like this. Just going to bring it over to this side and make sure it's randomized all around. Now, let's see what it looks like with our 100 particles. There you go, Kiwi. Now, there's one more thing we can do. Go over here, add a solidify, and you could give an edge to this if you would like. So, uh, make it very, very small. Now that we have all the fruits we need, we are going to make a fruit explosion using geometry nodes. Check out Lighting Ultimate Pro, link is in the description. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the free course thus far. And finally, watch this video next. <laughs>